From molten magma slowly cooling over millions of years, granite was born as the fossilized memory of the Earth, preserving the traces of pressure, heat, and time that shaped it into a material revered by humanity in art and architecture. Behind its solid form lies a journey of transforming the raw into the refined. Deep underground, stone is freed and polished until its veins emerge. The fingerprints of the earth, a symbol of endurance and humankind's desire to touch eternal beauty. What has kept granite so captivating for millennia? Join the factor as we explore how these massive stones from the depths of the earth are transformed into solid granite slabs that shine across monumental structures around the world. Granite has been intertwined with human civilization for millennia. From the Brihadi's warrior temple in India to the towering face of Mount Rushmore in the United States, humanity has transformed this seemingly lifeless stone into a symbol of power and eternity. A declaration of our desire to be remembered alongside the passage of time and rock itself. Thousands of years later, that desire still echoes in the modern world. When Donald Trump once expressed his wish to have his likeness carved onto Mount Rushmore, it wasn't merely a gesture of ambition. It revealed something deeper, that across every era, humans have yearned to leave an everlasting mark. Perhaps that is why granite, through centuries, continues to serve as a mirror reflecting our ambitions, our beliefs, and our timeless urge to immortalize our names. The first stage in the journey of extracting granite begins at vast open pit quarries, where colossal rock formations that took millions of years to form lie hidden beneath layers of overburden. Before reaching the main granite bed, workers must remove dozens of feet of soil, sand, and loose rock covering the surface. Once the ground is leveled, drilling crews mark precise points and bore deep holes into the stone following a carefully calculated grid pattern. These drill holes are then loaded with a measured amount of explosives, just enough to separate the granite into large blocks without fracturing the core. A controlled blast sequence is triggered within seconds, sending a thunderous echo through the valley as massive slabs detach and slide down the quarry walls. When the dust settles, excavators and heavy trucks move in to clear the debris, revealing intact blocks of granite the beginning of a transformation from raw rock to the enduring material that shapes monumental structures across the world. Once the granite layer is exposed, workers begin cutting directly into the rock face to extract the first massive blocks. The quarry surface is marked with parallel lines to define each mother block, typically over 15 feet wide, about 6 feet high, and weighing tens of tons. Depending on the quarry scale, the cutting process uses either diamond wire saws or giant blade saws. In the diamond wire method, a steel cable coated with synthetic diamond beads rotates continuously at high speed, slicing through the dense stone without causing cracks. In larger quarries, huge steel blade saws up to 12 feet long are fitted with diamond-tipped segments along their edges. These blades move back and forth slowly but steadily, powerful enough to free intact slabs from the mountain wall. Both techniques require a constant flow of water to cool the surface, wash away dust, and prevent silica, the fine airborne particles that can cause lung disease, from spreading into the air. During a single shift, water usage can reach 1,000 to 2,000 gallons, depending on the rock's thickness, though most of it is recovered and recycled. When the cut lines are complete, workers insert steel wedges or hydraulic jacks to detach the granite from the wall. With one precise release of pressure, a stone weighing tens of tons crashes onto the quarry floor, echoing through the valley. A standard granite block weighs around 20 to 50 tons, but in countries like India, Brazil, and the US, some reach 80 to 100 tons, requiring cranes to lift and transport them at full capacity. Once the massive stones are separated from the rock face, fine cutting begins. At this stage, the rough blocks are sawn on site with giant bridge saws equipped with diamond embedded blades stretching several feet long. The blade moves back and forth at a controlled pace, dividing each 20 to 100 ton block into smaller, standardized pieces for easier transport and processing. Water continues to flow constantly, cooling the blade, washing away stone slurry, 
and ensuring each cut remains clean and precise, leaving smooth, intact surfaces before the blocks are loaded onto trucks and hauled from the quarry. Once detached from the quarry wall, the massive granite blocks, weighing anywhere from several dozen to over a hundred tons, aren't moved out immediately. Instead, they're transported to a staging area within the quarry. Here, specialized haul trucks with low beds and reinforced frames designed for steep terrain handle the transport. These heavy-duty vehicles move slowly over the uneven quarry floor, carrying each block to a safe, level ground for loading preparation. At the staging yard, giant crawler cranes lift the granite blocks off the ground. Before hoisting, each block is secured with steel chains and straps at carefully balanced points to prevent slipping or rotation during lifting. Once stabilized, the crane gently lowers the block onto a multi-axle heavy-duty trailer, a specialized transport platform built to evenly distribute loads of 20 to 100 tons. Before leaving the quarry, workers perform a final inspection, tightening all securing chains, braces, and wooden chocks to ensure the blocks remain fixed throughout the journey. The convoy then departs, moving slowly through winding quarry roads and mountain passes marking the beginning of the granite's long voyage from the depths of the earth to its next transformation. When the rough granite blocks arrive at the factory, heavy cranes lower them onto reinforced cutting platforms anchored deep into concrete foundations to eliminate vibration during sawing. The blocks are locked in place with steel frames and hydraulic clamps, ensuring total stability as the blades begin their work. At the heart of this process is the multi-blade gang saw. Each machine carries between 40 and 80 parallel steel blades, more than 10 feet long, their edges coated with industrial diamonds to enhance cutting strength. As the system moves back and forth in steady rhythm, dozens of parallel cuts slice cleanly through the granite. The blades lower at just a few millimeters per minute, a carefully controlled pace that prevents fractures within the crystal structure. Vibration and pressure sensors monitor resistance in real time, adjusting cutting force for each section of stone, since every granite block has a unique mineral density that can vary even within the same slab. Throughout the operation, high-pressure water jets flow through hundreds of nozzles to cool the blades, wash away slurry, and reduce wear. Each saw consumes between 800 and 1500 gallons of water per hour most of it recycled through settling and filtration systems. This cooling process not only protects the equipment, but also suppresses airborne silica dust, a dangerous hazard that can harm workers' lungs. A full cutting cycle lasts from 15 to 24 hours, depending on the block size and hardness. When finished, the granite is divided into dozens of uniform slabs, about three quarters to one and a quarter inches thick, each weighing several hundred pounds. Every piece is numbered, inspected for flatness and uniformity, and stacked neatly on steel racks to dry. This stage defines the stone's commercial value, for only the slabs that are perfectly flat, seamless, and crack-free move forward to the polishing line, where the true beauty of granite finally begins to emerge. After the rough granite blocks are sorted and inspected, they are brought into the shaping section, the stage that determines the standard dimensions of each slab. Here, every block is sliced into slabs with uniform thickness, typically between half an inch and just over an inch, depending on its intended use, from countertops and staircases to wall panels and luxury flooring. This process relies on massive diamond circular saws equipped with multiple parallel blades. Each blade, up to 10 feet in diameter, is embedded with synthetic diamond segments to enhance durability and cutting precision through solid stone. As the machine operates, the entire set of blades rotates simultaneously, gradually cutting deeper into the granite and dividing it into slabs of perfectly measured dimensions. A high-pressure water system runs continuously, cooling the blades, reducing friction, and washing away stone slurry, preventing edge burns or micro-cracks that could ruin an entire slab. Spacing and thickness between the slabs are controlled by laser sensors and differential hydraulic drives, maintaining a tolerance of less than one millimeter across the slab's entire length. The operation runs with remarkable consistency, transforming a multi-ton block into dozens of flawlessly even granite slabs with clean, sharp surfaces. 
It's at this point that the crystal patterns of granite truly emerge, shimmering veins of quartz, mica, and feldspar reflecting light, turning what once lay deep within the earth into a material celebrated for both its strength and timeless beauty. After being cut into slabs, the granite remains rough and coated in fine stone dust. From the cutting area, these heavy slabs, each weighing several hundred pounds, are transferred to an automated polishing line, a system stretching dozens of feet and running around the clock. As each slab travels along the line, it passes through a series of grinding and polishing heads, each performing a specific stage of refinement, from leveling and smoothing to achieving a mirror-like finish. In the initial phase, coarse grit heads remove saw marks and uneven ridges, bringing the surface to a uniform flatness. Finer grit heads, often coated with industrial diamonds, then refine the surface with remarkable precision, removing only a thin layer of material with each pass. Throughout the process, sensors automatically control the pressure and rotation speed of each head to protect the granite's crystalline structure from micro-fractures. A steady flow of water reduces friction, washes away slurry, and keeps the polishing heads running smoothly. The used water is filtered and recirculated through sedimentation tanks, minimizing waste and maintaining a clean working environment. As the slabs move further down the line, their surfaces grow brighter and more reflective. By the time they reach the final polishing heads, light begins to shimmer like glass, revealing the intricate blend of quartz, mica, and felspar crystals, the mineral pattern that gives granite its signature metallic sparkle. Once the surface reaches the desired smoothness, workers apply a transparent protective coating, a sealant designed to extend the stone's lifespan and preserve its glossy finish for years to come. This sealant, typically silane or silicone-based, penetrates deep into the microscopic pores of the granite, forming an invisible barrier against water, oil, and mild acids. The coating process may be done using automated sprayers or low-pressure rollers, depending on the factory scale. Sensors monitor coverage in real time to ensure every surface is evenly treated without streaks or missed spots. After application, the slabs are left to cure naturally under controlled temperature and humidity, allowing the sealant to bond firmly and reach maximum clarity. Once the coating has set, workers inspect each slab under high-intensity lighting. Every detail is scrutinized, from faint scratches and hazy spots to subtle shifts in color tone. At this stage, granite achieves its final perfection, a deep, radiant surface that reflects natural light and possesses a durability that borders on timeless. After that, each granite slab is transferred to the laser inspection zone, a stage dedicated to ensuring absolute precision before packaging. Here, multi-beam scanning sensors project across the entire surface, capturing millions of data points to generate a detailed 3D map of every slab. From this map, specialized software analyzes flatness, thickness, and the parallel alignment of both faces, detecting deviations as small as a few thousandths of an inch. Thanks to the extreme accuracy of laser scanning technology, the factory can identify micro-cracks, air pockets, or surface deformations invisible to the naked eye. Slabs that fail to meet the standard are marked and removed from the line, while flawless pieces move on to the automated packaging section, ready to begin their journey from factory floor to monumental architecture around the world. After passing laser inspection and surface cleaning, the granite slabs move to the packaging area, a stage where every operation is carefully controlled to ensure maximum safety for these massive pieces of stone. Each slab can weigh anywhere from 400 to over 1,000 pounds, so all movement is handled by specialized robotic lifters or hydraulic gantry cranes. These machines use vacuum suction grips to lift the slabs upright, preventing scratches, chips, or corner damage. Once placed onto heavy-duty steel or reinforced wooden pallets, workers insert rubber pads or foam spacers between each slab, maintaining equal gaps to prevent cracks during transport. The entire pallet is then secured with a surrounding steel frame, tightened with metal straps, and wrapped in a protective polyethylene film, 
to guard against dust and moisture. Every shipment is labeled with detailed traceability information, including stone type, dimensions, batch number, quarry origin, and final destination. When packaging is complete, forklifts transfer the pallets to the loading zone. Depending on the order, the slabs are packed either into sealed containers or large cushioned wooden crates for overseas transport. This marks the final step in Granite's journey inside the factory, from a raw block buried deep underground to a precisely engineered, polished material destined to stand as part of the world's most enduring architecture. From molten magma that cooled over millions of years, granite is mined, cut, and polished to reveal the Earth's original beauty. Under the precision of modern engineering and technology, this seemingly lifeless material has become a symbol of endurance, a cornerstone of timeless architecture across the world. If you want to keep exploring the materials that shaped our civilization, from metals and glass to precious stones, subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts, and follow the Factorin, where nature and technology come together to tell humanity's most extraordinary stories.